Both of my parents graduated from El Capo, so I just want to graduate and play here too. Football in El Campo is the you know, epitome of Texas high school football. Everybody know each other. Friday nights, it seemed like the whole town shuts down. You look in the stands and you see so many people, and you can hear them. Give them all to Ruben, go Ruben. I mean, Ruben, Ruben, Ruben. It's like a small city, but they're real big on football. It's crazy. Ruben's successes he's had, uh, you know, brings a lot of pride to, to the El Campo community. And it makes him feel good that people love him because he loved this community, he loved this town. He loved it a lot. I got people on my side. Ruben, 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 you know. He loves this community. He has the whole package that you want in a running back, but I, I believe that his best asset is his explosiveness. Got jets on his feet. Jet, jets on his feet. Got jets on his feet. Wow. He has many talents, but <laughs> running back is, is the position. He can run the football. He can also catch the football. They can spread him out. There's so many things you can do with him. Speed, vision, awareness. I run up the middle. I get to the edge. I catch the ball. Agility, breaking tackles. I like it all, really. They don't come along very often. They don't come around a lot. Wow. He's very childish. <laughs> My son is very wild. Ruben. 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 You know, on the field, you got to have some type of energy. I think it's a munch. He eat it, he eat it for lunch. Like, if I just sit there, don't talk, don't do nothing, just stand around, it don't, it's not fun to me. Both of my parents graduated from El Capo, so I just want to graduate and play here, too. Like, all the, like, creepy dudes, like the scary dudes, I just, like, I don't know, I just like it. I got Jason right here. I got Jason tattoo on my arm, too, and things like that. And then I got the it on my back play. It's just, I don't know. It's just something I like. Oh! But, like, when it's time to be serious, you got to be serious. So when they call the play, I snap, and, you know, I play ball. <laughs> oh, TikTok. <laughs> That's all he does. It's just, it's fun, you know. Like, a lot of people make dances, and then I just try to do them. All through the house, all night. I don't care if you're in bed, he's coming to make a TikTok and put you in it. When I don't have my good wig on, <laughs> he's, he's gonna get me in that TikTok. When you have someone with the talent they have, you, you want them to, to know how special they are and use those tools. Get a break now, position. Ready. But at the same time, you have to do things to keep them grounded. Come on, come on, come on, four. Uh, his work ethic is unbelievable. Working out, grinding the grind, he know it pays off to make him better, so he don't mind the grind. Like, he's a hard worker. As a mom, I, I mean, I felt it was a lot, but now I think he appreciates it all. His hard work has really, really paid off. Whatever I got to do, whatever it takes to win the game, I'm going to try to do it. That always been my dream to be an All-American. It's an honor. It's an honor, it's a blessing. I know the hard work and the grind that he put to, to, to get to this point. You know, I think he'll have a chance to showcase that with, with the best players in the nation. I feel like I got to put on the show, you know, because I'm going against people that's also as good as me. He's going to shine. I think he's going to win MVP. We've had a lot of conversations about taking that hunger, taking that uh, work ethic and, and staying hungry when you go to the next level. His goal is to win the Heisman Trophy, to win the Dope Walker. Ruben's got the entire package. He's a great kid, and I can say, you know, he's a better person than he is a player. He's a good kid, a humble kid. Very humble, very confident. All I can say is amazing. <laughs> Outgoing, funny. He's got the heart so big that he wants to help others. This boy has a heart of gold, and I used to always tell him he was a crybaby. I did. He's just a great kid. I enjoy being around him. He's my friend. He's not, I'm just not his father. He's my friend. Sometimes I, I tell him, if you if you ever get to the point where you <laughs> you get too big headed, and this is just a little saying, don't make me come and slap you back to kingdom come. He loved that. Oh man, <laughs> she always say that. Grandma, where you say you're gonna slap me to? I say the kingdom come. <laughs> and you know, he'd be like, okay, grandma, okay. <laughs>